And of course, with Buck Showalter, there's a new approach and a new approach in particular to the players. Let's see how they're reacting. Sit across to the Masson Broadcast booth and welcome in Amber. Well, Jim, as we do learn more about Buck Showalter's managerial style, it's clear he is going to treat his players like men. He's going to treat them like big leaguers. If you look back over the past couple of years, perhaps the organization has been a little too focused on player development at the major league level, and it's clear Buck is going to be the manager that's going to cut the cord. Now, if you look back to last night, Corey Patterson in the ninth, he looked back into the dugout to get the bunt sign, and Buck said, well, I didn't have to give him a sign. I verbally told him, do what you got to do to get the runner in. So a show of faith there. Then again, in the uh, top of the ninth, when we saw Jason Birkin go back out on the mound after giving up a three-run homer to tie the game in the eighth, that was another show of faith. And Buck Showalter described that decision. Cranny, you know, said, uh, what do you want to do here? I said, he's going back out. I want, yeah, so this, this is a great uh, learning Tool for him and a good of time evaluator. Now, if he going back out and not gotten out of the inning, that would mean that he's he's not going to be a good pitcher in the big leagues. So it's very hard to do what what you do, you know, and what they're being asked to do here. But I thought it was important that he went back out there, as much for my sake as for his sake, though, you know, to give him an opportunity because he can't show me that there's another side there unless he gets the opportunity. And may not be always may, may not always be there. There's a fine margin for error. So Buck Showalter giving his players an opportunity to succeed and to uh, redeem themselves. And you can see it's worked. The players have risen to the occasion. They're 3-0. and Under Buck Showalter, there's four other managers in Orioles history since 1954 to start their managerial career with the Orioles at 3-0. 1964, Hank Bauer did it. 1968, Earl Weaver did it. 1996, Davey Johnson. And, of course, Buck Showalter this year. So Buck is not holding anybody's hand. He said a lesson that his father taught him is the best thing you can teach your children children is how to get along without you. But he made it very very clear. These are not children. These are grown men. We're all in this together. We're peers. Jim?